What's good, guys? If you guys want the most cheap and most reliable EAFC 24 coins, make sure you guys check out u7buy.com on making that team better. Also, if you guys ever want to make a purchase, make sure you guys use the code DAN to get 6% off on making that team better. If you guys ever want to sell your EAFC 24 coins, go to the same website and go to the selling section as well. Yo YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video to the channel, y'all boys. And today we're gonna go ahead and review 87 rated Evolutions Barcola. You guys know me, I barely be doing Evolutions on the channel. I haven't done a single Evolutions card on my personal account except for Memphis the Pie months ago, but I saw Barcola and he's looking pretty decent. So 87 rated, 6-1, high medium work rates, double five star on the skill moves and weak foot with the right foot. Acceleration type is controlled, 95 pace, 91 shooting, 87 passing, 93 dribbling, 73 physicality, chip shot, power shot, rapid and quick step on basic, Travella on gold, and he has press proven as well. Now there's multiple camp styles you can give this card. You give him a dead eye, you give him a hawk, give him a marksman. I'm gonna go ahead and give him the engine chemistry style for multiple reasons. Number one, sprint speed is already maxed out. Acceleration goes up to 94. I want to boost up the dribbling with the car because he is 6'1", I'm not going to lie. A little bit of a red flag. I don't know if this card's going to feel top tier on the ball. So we got to be on the safe side. Agility goes up to 95. Balance, 91. Dribbling gets maxed out at 99. Finishing is at 96. That's already really high for an attacker. And he has 5-star weak foot. So I expect this card to be top tier with the finishing without a cam style being put on it. He does have 80 stamina which we're going to have to see if it's a negative factor. But Barcola is going to be playing with this team right here, our actual team. He's going to be playing in a 4-3-2-1 as a left forward right next to that Eusebio card. Now, this Barcola, like I say, he's looking absolutely amazing. Perfect links to Killian Mbappe, which is absolutely fire. We're going to have to see if he's a top-tier winger in the video game. Is he on the same level as Jarzinho? Is he on the same level as Ronaldinho, as Vinicius Jr.? Those type of cards. For any of my subscribers that completed Evolution Barcola, the 87 rated that's double five star, you guys let me know in the comment section down below if you guys regret completing his Evolution or if you guys are satisfied with how he plays in game. We're gonna play some games in Elite Division and see if the card was worth it. All right, here we go with our first game versus Wara FC. Let's see what type of team he's rocking with. I expect it to be a sweaty team since he is in Elite Division. And I was correct, even though it's not really that good? It's meta, but it's not top tier either. Not a penalty? <laughs> That's a weird penalty animation. I'm going to be completely honest. Barcola, excuse me, did create it. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot it with him. Going to go top right. Nice. We tied the game one on one. Good stuff. We just cooked Maldini. We just cooked the shit out of Maldini. Unfortunately, he did miss that. That's a great pass from Gabby. What a pass, but a good finish as well from Barcola. Great run as well, so things you love to see. Very nice, very nice in the creativity. Dribbling is obviously not top tier like a Pele or Neymar, but it's, so far it's looking decent for somebody at 6'1". That was nice. Nice little near post shot right there. Cooked his ass, we do move on that. It's a good run from the card. Great pass as well. Almost an assist. That was great playmaking. It's 
man Barcola being 6-1, helping out defensively, recovering the ball. Things you love to see. Not bad on the dribbling. Not bad, not bad. Nice link up between Barcola and Mbappe. That was a great pass, but a great touch right there to keep on to the ball and a good finish with that five-star weak foot. Let's see. The pace is actually pretty overpowered. I mean, he did cook your rent here right there, to be fair. No shot cancel right there. That's tough, man. His Van Dyke blocked up. That's very unlucky, very unlucky. Nice, unlucky that was an assist, but you know, pace was pretty good that play. Oh, that was a cook, that was nice. That was nice to get into that tight space between Roberto Carlos and Blanc. Not bad, not bad right there. Oof, oof, that was nice. A little lucky, but the ball control was kind of sus, but he was able to finish, so we do take that. I'm lucky that I couldn't score that. How does he miss that? Nice, nice, nice. Finally he scores and puts it in the back of the net, man. Let's go, let's go. I don't think he's offside. Nice. Good finish near post to tie it up 3-3. Three three. Good stuff from the card right there. All right, boys, and that concludes the player review for 87 rated Evolutions Bradley Barcola. And I believe this Evolution, it cost 500 FIFA points and 100,000 coins. If you want to complete the full Evolution at the end, there's like four steps. You got to do like the FIFA Founders, skill moves training, like it says right here, weak foot training, and then finishers. So a lot of things you got to do for this Barcola, I'm not going to lie. You guys know me, I'm not the type of guy to grind players on my account like that. But I saw that he was a perfect link to Mbappe, double five. So I had to try him out. And overall, I am impressed. He's not he's not top tier. He's not an R9. He's not a Cruyff. He's not a Ronaldinho throwing the struck. But he's pretty good for 100,000 coins. So obviously, biggest pro from the card is that he's double five. Five star skill moves. Combination with the five star weak foot is an absolutely fat W, man. And then high medium work rates for those of you guys that believe in work rates is another W, in my opinion. Great pace, 90 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. Good stuff right there. Obviously, he's not as quick like an Mbappe or Pele. He does have rapid and quick step on basic, but you definitely notice the difference of the quickness between somebody that has those play styles on plus or goal i should say and somebody that doesn't also him being 6'1 with his body type you definitely notice the difference in speed when it comes to the dribbling aspect because barcola's dribbling is okay for somebody at 6'1 like i said it's not as quick like a pele like a neymar like a Cruyff, like those type of players not super agile but it's as good as they're gonna get for somebody that's 6-1 and for a hundred thousand coins in my opinion attack position was absolutely a1 like i said high medium work which is fire he has 93 attack positioning always at the right spot at the right moment his offensive ai was a very very nice he does have 96 finishing finishing is pretty good i'm not gonna say it's amazing even though he should be able to finish the majority of chances because 96 finishing is really really high i mean he did have nine goals in four games as a left forward pretty solid return didn't miss one or two opportunities that i felt like another top tier card like an r9 eusebio 
Mbappe is definitely going to put in the back end that. But I'm not going to complain that much because like I said before, the card is 100,000 coins. So if you're somebody that's running an RTG or you're really cheap on coins and you can't afford a Jarzinho, you can't afford a Ronaldinho, you can't afford a Trailblazers Hassan, you can't afford a Garincha in those top tier cards and you're in the cheap budget, definitely consider doing this Barcola Evolution or Evolution Malen. I think they're the two best Evolution cards. Some people would argue Felipe Anderson's in that conversation. He definitely is. He's double five and he's absolutely amazing. I think in my opinion, those three Evolutions are the best offensive Evolutions options at the moment. Barcola, Malen, and Felipe Anderson. All double five, all very good. It just depends on your playing style. Malen and Felipe Anderson, a little bit more agile, a little bit more quicker. Barcola, a little bit more strong, a little bit more physical in that aspect. Finishing still pretty good. Pace pretty good with the step overs. Left stick turning a little bit slow at times depending on the gameplay. But aside from that, it's not a major liability. So the card's going to get thumbs up for me. And rating wise for this evolution, is going to get 8.5 out of 10. I am satisfied with him. And I definitely will be keeping this card for a minute. Maybe until team of the season, we're going to have to see if they release any better right wingers. Maybe, who knows, they release the Centurions, Jarzinho, SPC in the future. We're going to have to see. But thank you guys so much for supporting all the videos. You guys are absolutely amazing. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys ended up completing Barcola Evolution, the double five-star version. Or which one did you guys complete? Did you guys complete Felipe Anderson? Did you guys complete the Malen card? Which ones did you guys complete? I'm really curious. And today is Wednesday and I am not going to upload any more videos up until Friday. So we're taking a full day break tomorrow, Thursday. As you guys do know, tomorrow, Thursday, they're going to be dropping that Cafu SPC. I already did a player review on Cafu, if you guys haven't noticed. Dropped on the channel about two days ago. So if you guys haven't checked out that review, go ahead and check it out. One step ahead of EA. They're going to go ahead and drop the SPC tomorrow, Thursday. But the next video that I'm going to be dropping is going to be a team of the year player review, y'all boys. It's been your boy Dan FIFA, and I am out. Bye-bye.